Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Alright everybody, well it turns out that Nintendo was really upset with a certain Nintendo Switch reveal. Back when Nintendo was going to reveal the Nintendo Switch for the very first time to the public, Nintendo revealed this image that you see on your screens here, and I'm pretty sure you've seen this all over the internet, YouTubers have used this, you've probably seen this on Twitter and various social media platforms, major video game publications have used this in their articles, well as it turns out, Nintendo was not pleased with this image teasing the Nintendo Switch console, and this was revealed in a brand new podcast episode by Kit and Krista, who are the former hosts of Nintendo Minute, a very cool show, and now they have their own podcast here on YouTube, so if you're interested, definitely check them out because they have a very interesting channel. They talk about various different topics. Now, in a brand new episode where they were discussing The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, they were taking questions, and this topic came up, and here's what was said. Palsy Pace has the next question. With the Switch 2 reveal possibly coming soon, oh. I have a question about the original Switch reveal. The announcement for the reveal was a tweet with a somewhat strange photo of a Mario mascot hiding behind oh. a curtain and sticking his head out. My question is where the heck did that photo come from? It was hilarious and memorable, but I'm wondering how someone came up with that idea and, and was it a random PR photo they found in a database or a new one specifically for that tweet? I think they took a new photo. They did. This was very controversial. Please share. Um, yeah, the person that had this idea was the former head of social, not you. This person, um, yeah, you know, commissioned a photo shoot for the Mario costume character in the office to go behind. Like, they basically staged the photo of Mar the Mario costume character going behind the curtain, doing the thing. Um, and it caused some concern, actually, because, of course, Nintendo doesn't want to, like, not manage people's expectations and this was too much in the zone of like speculation what could it be too much of a tease for something as big as a console reveal so it didn't go over too well and then of course it got meme to oblivion um and people were kind of upset about it honestly well here's the thing when with these big beats and moments like this you always need more assets than you think you do yeah and in this case there was clearly no asset to pair with this news and right. nobody wants to put out a tweet that has no image with it mm -hmm. so it's like well what what can we do yeah so like there's always some spreadsheet to it's like well okay here's every single asset we need every single sizing every single use yeah, it's really hard and i think in that case they must have just missed out because why why else otherwise would they be taking a last second picture of mario in the shower <laughs> you know peeping tom mario please give me the asset to use please tell me what do you have it please give it to me if they not i'm gonna it. do this they didn't have they'll it. be ready next time <laughs> people were upset <laughs> they'll be ready because they didn't use like an official thing and they took well, what, what 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 should they have used i'm not saying that they Nothing. did anything wrong race track logo oh how boring yeah boring see nobody so wants that so boring that again they will be on top of this this time that's true yes won't happen again it won't happen again all right so when i first saw this episode of their podcast i was saying okay what's wrong with the photo there's nothing wrong with it people seem to love it online but according to kit and krista nintendo was not pleased about this because according to them it wasn't official it was just something the social media manager at the time put together and put it up to promote the Nintendo Switch console. This was something that was not approved by the big wigs at Nintendo, so I kind of do understand where Nintendo was coming from being upset about this, but at the same time, I think this image is kind of self-explanatory. You know, you have Mario peeking around the corner. It's clearly teasing something big to come, so I don't know, man. What do you all think about this? Do you think that this was something Nintendo should be upset about or this was something much more of a non-issue to you? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, I'm not too sure if you noticed, but two days ago, yes, we did hit that 100,000 subscriber mark on this channel. And again, I thank you all so much for this. But over the past two days, overnight, I just lose subscribers like hotcakes. I don't understand what's going on. Like I wake up to 99.9 .9 subscribers. For example, last night before I went to bed, it was at 100,015. Then I woke up, it's at 99,985. 
How do I lose that many subscribers overnight? That makes no sense to me. But hey, man, it's just something to point out. I'm not sure what YouTube is doing, but it is what it is. So with that being said, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Please make sure to like this video, share this video. And for all of you watching this video right now that are not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on daily Nintendo news content. Because here at Around the Clock, we focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next video.